Hey everyone, in today's video, I will be listing off 10 awesome things to do in Lake Tahoe in the summertime. What's up everyone? If you're new here, my name is Gabriella and I am an outdoor photographer currently living in beautiful Lake Tahoe. And I make videos on mostly Lake Tahoe and the surrounding area. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The days are getting longer, which means summer is around the corner, and I wanted to make a video listing off some fun things to do in Lake Tahoe in the summertime. So all of the things that I'm gonna mention in the video are things that I've done personally. There's a lot of things that I haven't done yet, and hopefully I'll get to those this summer. So with that, here are 10 awesome things to do in Lake Tahoe in the summertime. Number one is Emerald Bay State Park. Emerald Bay is one of the most iconic spots in Lake Tahoe and for good reason as it has some of the most beautiful views of the lake. You can enjoy the views from the Emerald Bay Overlook or you can take the short and easy hike down the Vikings Home Trail to the beach. From here, you can hike to Lower Eagle Falls, pick up the Rubicon Trail, or rent a paddleboard and paddle out to Fanette Island. Number two is paddleboarding and kayaking. Any time of year is a great time for paddleboarding and kayaking on Lake Tahoe and summer is no exception. The best time of day for paddling on the lake is in the morning before the afternoon winds arrive and while there's less boats on the lake. It's also a good idea to stick close to the shoreline if you're new to this activity. My favorite spot to paddleboard is the East Shore, but other popular areas include Speedboat Beach on the North Shore, Cave Rock State Park, and paddling out to Fanet Island at Emerald Bay. Number three is Bonsai Rock. Bonsai Rock is another iconic spot in Lake Tahoe. One really fun thing that a lot of people like to do in the summertime is jump off the rock. But if you're not feeling that adventurous, you can just relax on one of the many boulders along the shoreline and watch the kayakers and paddleboarders go by. Bonsai Rock also happens to be one of my favorite spots for drone photography. Number four is doing a sunset hike. I have to say that Tahoe produces some of the most brilliant sunsets that I've ever seen it must have something to do with that alpine glow. Whether hiking up to a high viewpoint or just taking a short walk down to the water, summer is a great time to get out there and catch a Tahoe sunset. A good way to tell if the sunset is gonna be good is by gauging the clouds throughout the day. I also use an app called Alpine Glow, which predicts if the sunset is going to be good. It's not always accurate, but it helps. A few of my favorite spots to catch the sunset in Lake Tahoe are Zephyr Cove, Monkey Rock, Emerald Bay, and the East Shore. Number five is visiting a waterfall. Due to an abundant amount of spring runoff, there are quite a few incredible waterfalls in Lake Tahoe. The best time to visit the waterfalls is in late spring and early summer when they are at their peak. Some of the more well-known waterfalls such as Eagle Falls and Glen Alpine Falls are easily accessible via a short hike. And of course, there are quite a few off the beaten path waterfalls as well. Number six is exploring the surrounding lakes. There are tons of beautiful snow-fed alpine lakes in the Tahoe area. Some of these lakes are easily accessible via a short hike, while others involve a bit more hiking and possibly a backcountry permit. Fallen Leaf Lake and Eagle Lake are great options if you're looking for something on the more accessible side. Also, if you're up for a short road trip, there are plenty of lakes to explore in Tahoe National Forest. Number seven is hang gliding above Tahoe. If you're afraid of heights, you might wanna skip this one. The first time I ever came to Tahoe back in 2015, for some reason, I wanted to do the most adventurous thing I could think of. I came across hang gliding Tahoe online. It is a splurge, but it's definitely an adventure you won't forget. 
If you're interested in doing this, I've linked the company I used in the description below. Number eight is the East Shore. The East Shore is my favorite side of Lake Tahoe. The turquoise water against the alpine backdrop is a visual stunner. It's also my favorite section of the lake for swimming and just lounging out. Keep in mind that the temperature of the lake never really gets warm, even in the summertime, but it's definitely refreshing. A few East Shore gems are Hidden Beach, Chimney Beach, and Secret Cove. Number nine is Sugar Pine State Park. Located on the West Shore, the park is a historic zone and also home to some of the largest pine trees in the world, known as Sugar Pines. Don't miss the old train tracks that disappear into the lake. They're located on the south end of the park. Number 10 is State Line Fire Lookout. State Line Fire Lookout is a short hike in Kings Beach that offers stunning views overlooking Crystal Bay and the North Shore. The hike gets its name from an old fire lookout tower from the 1930s. There's also a number of educational plaques along the hike with facts about Tahoe and its logging history. This also happens to be one of my favorite spots to catch the sunset over Lake Tahoe. All right, so those were 10 awesome things to do in Lake Tahoe in the summertime. You know, obviously you can do these things year round, but some of them are a little bit easier and just a little bit more fun to do in the summertime. So hopefully you have a few ideas of things to do in Lake Tahoe in the summertime now. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, go ahead and give it a like or hit subscribe. And that's all I got for you guys today. So I will see you in the next video.